Samsung released a major Android update to its new version UE6. And major updates first hit Samsung's latest Galaxy S 23 flagship smartphone lineup. It comes with improved software design, more personalization options, better performance, and many new features. Here's the full list of features, changes, and additions. One UI6 has a new default font with a more stylish and modern feel. You'll see the new font if the default font is selected in settings. This makes a big difference in the way you perceive the system. This new font is wider and not as condensed, and we find it easier on the eyes and a bit more spacious. Samsung new emoji design. Emojis that appear in your messages, social media posts, and elsewhere on your phone have been updated with a fresh new design. Samsung emoji were definitely not among the prettiest, and they also used a very different style than emoji on most other platforms. Now they have finally fixed this with a much better looking emoji style that will make texting just so much more enjoyable. One UE6 has changed the whole quick setting layout. The settings menu is divided into sections and more spacious than before. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth toggles are completely separate from the rest that you would probably use far less often, while visual features like dark mode and eye comfort shield have been moved to the bottom. Other quick settings buttons appear in a customizable area in the middle. The brightness slider now appears even after one swipe down. Previously, you had to swipe twice to reveal it. Get quick access to switch between dark and light mode right from the quick settings menu. Also, each notification now appears as a separate card, making it easier to recognize individual notifications. In UI 6, now reposition your clock. You now have more freedom to move your clock to the position of your choice on the lock screen and have more options to customize your lock screen and have more fonts and styles to pick from. There is new animation for the music section, an animated waveform while you play music album. Art will cover the entire media controller in the notification panel if the app playing the music or video provides album art. In the UI, six camera app section interface had a few small but welcome changes. In photo mode, you can tap a button directly in the viewfinder to switch between 12 megapixel and 50 megapixel images, which is really useful. Easier video size options. A pop-up now appears when you tap the video size button, making it easier to see all the options and choose the right ones. You can also find three new settings for image quality, maximum, medium, and minimum, with the maximum being the slowest and minimum the fastest for the least shutter lag. But do keep in mind that if you go for anything but maximum, the scene optimizer feature will not work. You can add custom camera widgets to your home screen. You can set each widget to start in a specific shooting mode and save pictures in an album of your choice. UI6 also adds drag and drop with two hands. Touch and hold pictures and videos with one hand, then use your other hand to navigate to the album where you want to drop them. The weather app is now richer and is now all blue, instead of the previous style where it switched to a white color after you scroll down past the first screen. You can see when severe thunderstorms, snow, rain and other events are on the forecast. Samsung has the battery page in the battery and device care menu, and you had to tap a few times to access it, but now it's right in the settings homepage, and you can easily see it. It is also richer with a better design, and you can easily see a ton of detail about your battery usage. Samsung released the first beta version of One UI 6 on August 11, 2023. The latest versions, however, will receive it earlier, so we expect the Galaxy S23 series to be the first to get the Android 14-based One UI 6 around October with the Galaxy S22 and Galaxy S21 series expected to get the update by the end of the year. Samsung has not specified an official timeline, so One UI 6 is also scheduled to go live for other high-end Galaxy S and Galaxy Z smartphones. That's all for now. See you in the next video. Peace out.